Now joining us now from the Star Ledger newsroom in Newark is the deputy mayor of the city of Newark, Adam Zipkin. Uh, good of you to join us, sir. First of all, when we hear these stories about these reports of a decrease in state aid that uh, the governor had alluded to, that the mayor has now spoken of as well, does that impact your operation? Does that concern you at all? Uh, it really does not impact my operation in economic development, and I think that ultimately uh, the numbers will work themselves out over the next couple of months to where we will, in Newark, um, you know, pass a budget that is balanced. And in, in passing a budget that is balanced, will that budget be adequate to fulfill your mandate and, and your desires? Yes, it will. We have a uh, department devoted to economic development. We have a city planning division. We have uh, outside agencies such as our um, Newark Works, which is a workforce um, training and placement agency. We have Brick City Development Corporation. And so we are adequately funded and really at this point are able to carry out our mandate at a very high level in terms of the level of economic development that's happening in the city uh, downtown and and all over in our neighborhoods the downtown you've had some major success stories there you've got the new hotel first one in some 40 years there have been reports of others that will follow shortly can you tell us is, is that the case uh, that is the case the new courtyard by marriott which is a beautiful uh, 150 room marriott hotel is now open and uh, we're seeing very good uh, reservations and bookings for that new hotel and then just a block away uh, also on Broad Street on the corner of Edison Place there is an Indigo Hotel a hundred room Indigo Hotel that's under construction and that we anticipate is going to open uh, in the spring of 2013. Do, do you expect more hotels to follow? Are you in talks with anybody else at this point? We are. There are um, other hotel projects that are starting the planning process that have come in and met with us and that we anticipate uh, next year in 2013 uh, moving forward for approvals. Let's talk about uh, Prudential and, and Panasonic. How do you get Panasonic to do what they're doing? So Panasonic, I think it was a combination of um, incentives that motivated them to come to Newark as well as a belief in the future of the city. I think they weighed a lot of options both in New Jersey and outside of New Jersey and ultimately um, decided that the ability to um, be part of what's happening in Newark and to have a 21st century um, sustainable headquarters here was their best option and we um, in City Hall, Mayor Booker, myself, we are just absolutely thrilled to have them coming uh, to Newark. What about the ports? There's been all sorts of talk over the years about, about the city's desire to do something developmentally around the ports. Is anything about to happen there or, is, or are we stuck pretty much where we are? Well, we've actually over the last few years seen a lot of new development happening in our port district, um, light manufacturing facilities, transportation uh, distribution centers. We have a new uh, refrigerated warehouse for Wakefern, which is the distributor for ShopRite that uh, opened last month that is now uh, distributing for them from Boston to Baltimore. We recently in the South Ward had uh, Bartlett Dairy move here with uh, ultimately 400 jobs. They are a uh, dairy distributor. They distribute to all the Starbucks in the region. We had Manischewitz move their world headquarters. So we've had a lot of activity and we're seeing uh, more and more of those types of projects break ground. We recently broke ground on a 15 acre brownfield site um, in the East Ward, that's going to be another um, 200 to 300,000 square foot distribution center. And so I think as we're seeing the port get busier and busier, we're going to see those types of projects continue to move forward. Are you worried at all about the, uh, the NHL situation? Preseason games canceled, regular season games being canceled right now. What, is it, what does that do for the development and the image of the city? Well, I think that the downtown area, we're seeing a lot of activity um, with NJ Pack and with the arena, we have uh, new restaurants that have opened from the new Dinosaur Barbecue right. to Edison well, Alehouse no, to Lot 47. That. I, I understand and, that, but, but, but the fact that this season is, is endangered right now and the business that goes with it could be endangered as well, is that going to impact the city? Is that going to hurt you? It, it certainly does. I mean, on, on the event nights, there is a big spike in um, people coming to downtown and a lot of activity in those nearby um, restaurants and businesses, and so certainly we're hoping for a uh, quick resolution to the N NHL uh, situation. Deputy Mayor Adam Zipkin, thanks for coming on, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.